Good day, my brother and sister. Welcome to the edition. Brothers and sisters, um, today is the 1st of May and uh, I wanted to share a word with you. Uh, this is based on something, a quote I saw yesterday that I thought was beautifully put. And this has to do with waiting on the Lord. So um, uh, as we go into May, I want you to keep these words close to you. And I'm, I'm, do, I'm going to jump straight into this and not waste any time. So I'm going to put the, um, the quote here. It's from J.I. Packer. I hope I'm saying his surname right. It says, Wait on the Lord is a constant refrain in the Psalms. And it is a necessary word, for God often keeps us waiting. He is not in such a hurry as we are, and it is not his way to give more light on the future than we need for action in the present, or to guide us more than one step at a time. When in doubt, do nothing, but continue to wait on God. When action is needed, light will come. I love this. I love this. And I'm going to go and uh, just go in detail on two certain areas here. I love the part that says that um, it is not his way to give more light on the future than we need for action in the present. I feel like I've been talking about this uh, a lot this year, about not just praying to God, not just listening to God, but also taking action on the things that he has um, told you. Uh, but what this says here is that God will not give more light on the future than we need for action in the present. Uh, you know, the Bible says that the, the, the steps of a righteous person are ordered by God. It's the steps. God will give tell you the next move. I once I did a video about um, the GPS scenario where God is the GPS and he knows where you are going. He knows the end destination, but he will just keep on giving you direction as to the next move you need to make. So uh, what the GPS does is it will say, at the next roundabout, take the second second exit. It's not gonna say um, at the third roundabout, which is uh, ten kilometers from now. After you have done this, 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 this then take the second e um, exit. It tells you about the next move that you should make. So what you then need to focus is on the current thing that's being you are being told, and you need to take action on that that you have been told. And further, something that he says here is, when in doubt, do nothing. When in doubt, do nothing. Most times when we are in doubt, we try and um, so, sort of superimpose our understanding on of what we believe God has said on a situation. You know, it's like we're trying to solve a puzzle. You had a dream that was like this, like this, but you are not sure if it meant that. So you go and act according to your own understanding. No, when in doubt, do nothing. Again, we go to the GPS um, scenario uh, that I once gave where I said, if you have punched the the coordinates on the GPS, that's your destination. As long as you are moving, you get direction, right? But once you were given direction that in, in 200 kilometers or in 20, in 20 meters, 10 left, if before that 20 meter mark you stop, the, the, the GPS will keep repeating the same instruction. Why? Because it's waiting for you to take action and turn left in 20 meters. So when in doubt, sit and be still and wait on the Lord so that he can clarify what he said. You know, he is not wait, looking for you to fill in the gap for him. Sometimes we, we say things like, um, you know, when you have a friendship or we say that people are our so-called soulmates, people have this thing of saying, oh, we finish each other's sentences. God is not looking for you to finish a sentence. God is not li living dot, dot, dots. God tells you that when he gives you instructions, you will know that you know that you know. You Once it is clear as to what you're supposed to do, trust me, you will have a knowing and you will do it with confidence and with no doubt. But if in doubt, do nothing. Why? Because it says here, because when action is needed, light will come. When action is needed, God will keep on 
sending the, the, the signs and the wonders. He will give directive. He will keep pushing, even if it means that he, at some point he makes you uncomfortable so that action can be taken. If you are now getting too close to the time where action needs to be done, God will send the light. God will send the message. God, God will send the directive. So if in doubt, do nothing but wait. It's not just do nothing and just be complacent. It's, it's do nothing but continue to wait on God. Why? Because he will then reveal what it is that you are in doubt about more clearly in the mighty name of Jesus. My brother and sister, in your weight, I hope that this helps you. In your weight, I hope that this gives you uh, a clarity as to how to deal with the things of God. Wait on him and just trust that he will keep giving you um, directive. Um, it is not his way to give more light on the future than we need for action in the present. You have a work to do. You also have to take action on the things that he tells you. You also have to do uh, do your part because he can't just keep on speaking and you don't do anything he speaks and you have to take action he speaks and you have to do the work why because faith without works is dead brothers and sisters i hope you have an amazing month i hope that um wherever you are on this journey with the lord i hope that this word blesses you and even if right now you are not in waiting even if right now you are in the action part of, of the journey there will come a point where you now you've completed that action and you, your question is God now what be comfortable in the silence continue to be faith, faithful because sometimes the silence is actually time for you to rest you need to know that uh, God says be still be still and know that I'm God he won't forsake you he won't leave you a destitute he won't just leave you in the middle of, 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 of the, 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 the journey he is there to guide you to the completion of this journey in the mighty name of Jesus anyway brothers and sisters have a lovely month all these things I say in the mighty name of our Savior Jesus Christ amen